Welcome to the EFS survey tutorial for beginners. This tutorial shows you the basic layout of the user interface and is meant as a first insight into the software. To get started, all you need is a computer with an internet connection and a browser. You don't need to install the software. You will receive your personal login data and the access link per email after purchasing the software license. Enter the link into the address bar of your browser. Now enter your login data. You are now on the EFS start page. A welcome message gives you a brief overview of the current version of EFS. A short video about the latest features can also be found here after each update. Essentially, EFS consists of five different areas, which are controlled by a navigation bar. Start, Projects, Users, Libraries and Options. The language selection is at the top right. EFS Survey is currently available in German, English, French, Italian, Finnish, Norwegian and Swedish. You can share your remarks, wishes and comments about our products in the Feedback Center. Under Help, you can take a quick glance at our online manuals. You will also see your account name and the logout link. Let's have a closer look at the Start page. In the left-hand window of the Start page is a list of all active survey projects of your installation. Active means that the survey projects are activated and in the field. In the lower part of the window, you can see your recently edited project. The News window on the right keeps you informed about the latest Questback topics, such as useful tips and tricks for the software, webinars or customer events. That brings us to the second main area, the project. The second area, Projects, offers access to the entire list of projects, which can be searched by certain criteria and processed via icons in the Actions column. On the left side, you always find the menu of the area you are currently working in. You can create a new project by clicking the button New Project. You can also import a project or select a survey template from the survey library. The third area is about the users of the installation. If your account has a right to team and staff administration, the user area gives you access to the staff and team administration. This enables you to create additional user accounts and to organize them into teams. In this way, several projects can be implemented by different persons in various teams. You can create a new team in the menu on the left. When you create a new user account, the account can be directly assigned to the new team. Another area in EFS is the libraries. Here you have access to the libraries offered by EFS. This includes a media library for images and videos, as well as a survey library with ready-made survey templates. The libraries help you to save content and to reuse the content in your project. That brings us to the last area, Options. There are useful functions under Options that help you adapt the behavior of EFS to your own requirements. In addition, general system settings and functions for platform administrators can be found there. By the way, the breadcrumb is a helpful option in the software for navigating. It allows you to easily see which menu level you are on and to return to a previous level with a mouse click. Start your survey project now. The next tutorial shows you the steps involved. Good luck with your project!